from indie game developer Scott Cawthon prove that we all got to start somewhere. Comes an adaptation of his biggest hit that pulled off the sets, animatronics, and deep cut references that define the franchise, but forgot to follow one simple rule. Don't make everything else boring. In what feels like more than Five Nights at Freddy's. Do you pay rent? Then you're probably too old to know about FNAF, the game equivalent of a jack-in-the-box. That's either a game about watching screens until monsters pop out, or a metagame about grown men screaming until view counts go up. But the real reason behind its staying power is the steady drip of dark and twisted lore. Okay, I'll put it this way for the olds. Imagine Pong, but after every round, they hint that Left Paddle got molested. When you need to make a six and a half foot bunny look menacing, you call five and a half foot actor Josh Hutchinson. He's playing Mike, caretaker of his sister, Abs. Hey, Abs. 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 Abs, you ready? Mike's your standard deadbeat dad archetype in brother form. I don't care. Do whatever you want. I'm hardly fit to be raising a kid. We want Abby. Okay. <laughs> because he's too busy searching for his other missing sibling. By taking pills and hoping the answers come to him in a dream? Yeah, I actually tried that for my forklift operator test. It's not gonna work. When he's not asleep, which is most of the movie, Mike's hanging out with this Dr. Cop MD, professor at large. Can I uh, help you, officer? I'm a certified AMT. Wow. You really didn't do your homework, did you? As they join forces to protect his sister from a ridiculous over-the-top villain. <laughs> no, not Freddy. You are wretched, rotten little beast! Not him either. And this degenerate is who they entrust with the well-being of a mentally ill child. There she is, Aunt Jane, an evil caricature who's scheming to take Abby away because, um, uh, hmm, Mike's broke, so it's not for the child support. Why would she hire a lawyer and a goon squad to take a kid she doesn't even like? Maybe she's the killer. Maybe she took out Mike's family. Maybe she's the yellow bunny Abby tried to warn us about. I mean, obviously not. But if we stretch that out for 16 more minutes, we got ourselves a film theory. It's just a theory. Meet the animatronics haunting Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria that shockingly came out looking pretty legit. Oh, that's why. Controlling these ghost child corpse mascot turduckins is William Afton, yet another American business owner trying to automate his workforce. Played by fan favorite Matthew Lillard, who's completed his quadrilogy of gangly guys obsessed with death. Together, these monsters will terrify your imagination and only your imagination, because this PG-13 movie comes pre-censored for your next middle school sleepover. Okay, you guys, mom and dad are asleep. Put on Willy's Wonderland. So head out to a theater, because you definitely are paying for Peacock, for a film that's like the Avengers for little cousins, and baby's first horror film for everyone else. But did so well at the box office, we're sure to get 100 sequels. I always come back. And every indie game with an annoying fan base is about to get the big screen treatment. No, no, no! Starring Charles Unemployment Cheese, Pilot the Ella Abbey, or Garrett will have to do it again. We have Jennifer Lawrence at home. Now, let's take off this mask and see who you really are. <gasps> Why, it's old man Lillard. Don't tell Mike the babysitter's dead. Aren't I a stinker? Scare Bear Stare. Oxy Cottontail. Bird, 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 the bird, the turd. What does the fox slay? And jump scare. <laughs> Just kidding. Jump scare. <laughs> Never mind. Jump scare. Made you look. Jump scare. Got you again. Jump scare. Okay, I'm done. And jump scare. <laughs> Knights of the Living Dead Kids. It's not just their ghosts that are inside of those machines. It's their bodies.
Why would he stuff the bodies into big animal suits instead of just cooking them into the pizzas? The children's menu pun is right there. I'm hopeless and awkward and desperate for love. It was also the night that the skeletons came to life. Pizza, pizza, go in tummy. Me so hungry, me so hungry. Ma, they're making me say weird shit again.